Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be teaching you how to add GIFs onto materials. It's been a little bit since I've done a video, so I'm here to teach you something new. Without further ado, let's get into some information. The avatar we have here today is Kai by Baby B. As of me filming this video, the avatar is not for sale. She plans on bringing her back into the light. She is going to be selling her again after her break. I will be linking her server in the description so you can get up to date on when this beautiful avatar will be back up for sale so you can go ahead and buy her yourself. The you version of Unity, sorry, have been a little bit. The version of Unity I am using is Unity 2019. Please keep in mind this works with Unity 2018. Follow all the same steps exactly as I'm doing it. The version of Poyomi I am using is 7.0.100. I recommend you keep up with the newer up-to-date versions of Poyomi as this result will come out better and it's just easier to follow along with what I'm doing. Now, with all of that said, let us get into it. So if we zoom in to the bandana right here, you can see this little swirly pink gif that I have added onto it to match the whole aesthetic of everything. And you're thinking, man, how in the world do I add this? First thing is first, find your gif. What do you want to add onto it? So you're gonna hop into Google and you are gonna find yourself a gif. Save this as it is and make sure it saves as a GIF. This can be anything that you want the material to be. Now, let's unlock the shader and let us scroll down to Flipbook. Flipbook is going to be under Special Effects, which is under Lighting and Reflections. So if this tab is pulled up, drop it straight down and it'll be right there. So right here we can see a texture array. How in the world do we get a texture array? How do we get this little GIF to turn into this grid right here? It is literally super easy, two steps. Let's follow it very careful. We're gonna take the GIF, we're gonna drag it in the texture array. It's going to take everything as it is. Remember this frame rate. It stops at 49 frames. It is turned into a texture array. From there, we can mess with a few things, and this is going to be basic bare minimum. So if you are looking for the more advanced settings, this tutorial isn't for you. This is a very simple how to add a GIF to a material tutorial. The reason why we focused on those frames is because a GIF is only so many frames long. If you make this little section here, total frames, any more than what it is, it's going to turn out choppy. So let's say we make this 60. It's See, in some point, it's going to hesitate and it's going to pause and it's going to stop. But we want a constant looping GIF. So remembering that frames allows the GIF to run entirely through, stop right at its end cycle, and then loop again without a second hesitation. The FPS also can affect, so how many frames per second? So how many of these frames is this going to run through per second? So if I make it 10, it's going to slow down significantly versus if I make it 100, it's gonna zoom wildly, 60 or 50. We can have a nice slow, super fast, whatever you would like. Of course, you have things like emission strength, how you want this to glow in the dark with our emission. We have rotation, which since this is a swirl, you can't really tell, but it is rotating the GIF. And those are most important things for this. There obviously is other settings you can play around with. For example, you can see the panning right here. If you haven't seen my changing color changing tattoo tutor tutorial and want to know what panning, tiling, and offset is, check that video out. It's in my channel. It goes over what the panning and all of that could be. And if you haven't seen my uh, <laughs> how to how I do tattoo videos, me explaining how I make my tattoos holographic, also check out that video to figure out what the masking system is and what that's going to do for you. Those are two very important things that you might want to check out if you really want to check it. If you really want to, you know, get that same result that some other people may have. Thank you so much for watching the video and I really hope this sparks some creativity and have a great day.